Dexterry Tech Solutions, a joint venture between Planned Systems International and the Green Technology Group, was awarded a $54 million task order to provide support services to Department of Veterans Affairs offices. Executive Mosaic and its CEO Jim Garretson visited Mantech President and CEO Matt Tate to personally congratulate him for being an inductee to the 2023 WASH 100 class and present him with the award. Recently retired marketing and technology executive Jacqueline Yeeney has been selected as a member of Iridium's board of directors, a role which she began earlier this month. CAE has won a $44.5 million contract to help the U.S. Air Force train military pilot candidates in operating rotary wing aircraft. Lockheed Martin has marked its sixth decade of providing support to the Department of Defense and other federal agencies through the company's campus in Huntsville, Alabama. GTY Technology has changed its brand and will operate under the name Unis Solutions in an effort to strengthen its presence in the public sector market for cloud-based services. James Lackey, Senior Vice President for Mission Solutions at Parsons, said GPS is key to delivering precision navigation data and guidance and the U.S. military should protect GPS receivers from spoofing, jamming and other attacks by adopting a technology that negates GPS reliance. Amex has been named a finalist for a yearly award that honors Washington, D.C. businesses, nonprofits and associations that have grown using bold and innovative strategies. 2023 Defense Software Modernization Forum on June 7, 2023. Visit executivebiz.com slash events. Six projects were selected through the Department of Defense's Point of Need Challenge Pitch event to continue developing technologies aimed at providing forward deployed forces with assistance in addressing various challenges in austere environments. Austal USA has wrapped up the acceptance trials for the future USS Augusta and handed over the 17th Independence Variant Littoral Combat Ship to the U.S. Navy.